everyone, Dan from BMW Sudbury here again, and in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the all-new 2025 BMW X3 M50. So this particular X3 M50 is in the new dune gray metallic. It's sort of like a desert gray, you can almost call it. A cool color, it's an all-new color for the 25 X3. It is a metallic, but metallic flakes are a little on the smaller side similar to like Brooklyn Gray, so it doesn't quite have a, a big shimmer like some of the other um, BMW paint colors. So of course we can see our new, totally brand new generation of the X3. It's called the G45. So let's look at the front end here. Let's see our headlights. There's our daytime running lamps on, and then our main driving lights are actually right in there. And we still have a cornering light in there as well. This is the M Sport Professional, so you do have the illuminated kidney grill. You can see that strip along the perimeter of the kidney grill is lit up. And the M grill, of course, has our front camera for all our park assist features. And come along the side, we see our, our new 20 inch wheels. So there's a couple different 20 inch wheel options, as well as a couple different 21 inch wheel options. So the 20 inch wheels are gonna come with all seasons and the 21s are gonna come with summer performance tires. And this one has the right brake copper. You can get blue if you want as well. Let's take a look at the side profile. So this is an all new generation of X3. So it is a little bigger really in every dimension than the outgoing G01 generation that they had. 2018 to 2024. And with this being an M50, you do have the two uh, pronged M style mirrors. And of course, the turn signal in the mirror as well. And with this being a newer design for BMW, it has these sort of flat, more aerodynamic door handles. You can actually pull up from underneath to open the door. So have your comfort access there as well. But uh, of course, this vehicle has the digital key plus, so you can just use your phone, uh, smartwatch, things like that. It just as the key to the vehicle, which is nice. And our 20 inch wheel and our brake caliper, red brake caliper in the rear. And come along the back. The rear end is, it takes some inspiration from the XM, having this more flat area right here and then the release for the hatch is actually under here too similar to an xm a nice integrated roof spoiler here as well yeah, so it kind of carries over that x design with the tail lights that even the uh, lci the previous generation got and the x5 currently has so they retained that uh, design cue on this new generation these are new emblems this being an m50 they have that satin silver finish, then being like chrome. And you can see this does have our quad exhaust tips. So just like an X1 M35 or an X X2 M35, it does have the quad exhaust tips, although it is not a full X3M. And you can see our reverse light is actually right there in the middle as well. That's a lot of new BMWs have the reverse light in that location. So your fuel door is still on the passenger side. Let me go ahead and look at the interior. So this X3 has the black Atlas gray merino leather. So that's the first time an X3 has gotten the option for a merino leather. At least in the US market. I think in other markets it's had it before. So I have a two tone black, and then you have the Atlas gray here with some white piping and white stitching. And you have the adjustable uh, headrest as well. Yeah, come over the door, and you our door panel, all our window switches, mirror controls, the release that you hatch in the rear. The door handle is right here. A little bit of a different design there. 
this design here is for your ambient lighting. And your door locks are two person of memory and the control for this vent right here is on the door right there. And so there's your Harman Kardon sound system. And standard on the XRM50 is a panoramic moonroof, but now the glass is fixed, so it does no, uh, no longer moves. So you can't tilt or uh, bring the glass back. There is a shade that you can close. This is open right now, so it's a little different than the previous generation. And yeah, go ahead and look at the more of the interior. So our steering wheel, very similar to say um, a steering wheel on. You know, like the 2025 3 Series, for example, has that flat bottom design. Or say like a 2025 M340. Because they have your red 12 o'clock mark there. But with this being a, a newer generation of vehicle, you do get the newer uh, paddle shifters. So those long paddle shifters, similar to like an M3 or M4. Or even the new M5 will have that too. Looks like your M color stitching on the inside of the rim. The new update they did is the headlight control. So they're actually control from the wiper stock right there. So you have it's an auto and then you have off. So you can click up to turn the headlights on. Now they're on or back to auto or then you can go off. And then the button on the end, it's sort of a hamburger menu. That'll actually bring up the corresponding exterior lighting menu in the iDraft system, so you can get the further options there. You also have your cruise control buttons over here, and buttons for your media, as well as your controls for your 12.3-inch uh, gauge cluster, the screen that's right in front of the driver. So that's very similar to, you know, I drive eight cars that have been out for a while, see like an iX or a 7 Series, things like that. That's very similar. So you have your different content, root preview map, dream meter, media radio. That's all very similar. You click over to layouts, you have three different layouts. And your settings for our head up display. As you can see up there, so it's standard view, assisted view, sport view. Doesn't come up the best on the camera, but and still so are 12.3 and then a 14.9 inch display over here. So the X3 does have iDrive 9.0, uh, so it is the first BMW to have this style screen set up with iDrive 9.0. So it is a Android based uh, system where really everything else except the X1 and X2, which have the Android, uh, all have Linux based head units. So that's a little different. The overall layout is very similar to iDrive uh, 8.5. So this is the main menu. You have your widgets over here and then your map over here, or you can set that to be map my modes. You usually do weather there once you're signed into a uh, BMW ID. You have media. Media menu set up a little different than uh, 8.5. So now we're in Sirius, so we're in this for you and they have categories, my collection, so a little bit of a different setup. And then go to back to radio, just back to uh, FM. Of course, you have AM there as well. And you'll go back home, more navigation. So you do have like these satellite images, which it's, it's set to right now, so that's a little bit different. So you have satellite, three buildings, and as well as traffic. That's some of your navigation settings. Other than that, it's very similar to iDrive 8.5. Yeah, go into our climate menu. So very similar to iDrive 8.5 as well. You have auto, air temperature, fan speed, sync. And we'll go into the vehicle apps. So very similar setup to say an iDrive uh, 8.5 car. Go back to all. So very similar. Of course, we have wireless Android Auto and then Apple CarPlay, so that's standard on every BMW. So it's really about the same. We do have our digital premium app, so, so that's unique to the iDrive 9 uh, cars. 
you can download um, a little more integration with the air console games and uh, downloading of uh, extra apps and things like that and we do have coming down here we have our event controls for our center events as well as our front rear defrost and our hazards so the hazards do that will actually blink with the um, ambient lighting as well We have our wireless charging pad down here. So it's uh, one of our digital key cards. So this is one, just on one side is it a, a wireless charging pad and then you have two uh, USB type C ports right there. And there's the key. So it's a similar key to a lot of the uh, newer BMWs. So it's M band right there. And our center console is so very similar to, say, like a uh, 2024 and up 5 series. So our start, stop, our shifter, parking brake, auto hold. It's our iDrive controller. So the X3 still retains the iDrive controller. Our shortcut buttons. And various buttons here. So for our PDC, for our cameras. So we do have our rear. Assist views that just brings up your sensors over there. Our panorama view, nothing more. The 3D view is one of my favorite ones. So you can get a 3D view of wherever the car's parked. You can get that view on your uh, phone on your My BMW app as too, so that's cool. And we have our driving settings button. So it's just a shortcut to various uh, driving settings for the car, so your safety systems, drive chain and chassis, as well as your display settings. And we have one for my modes. These are our drive modes, so we're in personal, sport, efficient, expressive, relax, digital art, and silent. So usually with a digital premium, you can uh, add other uh, drive modes to the vehicle as well, whenever BMW makes those available. We've done that in the past. Here's our center console. Nice amount of space in there. This one does have the brushed aluminum trim. Let me take a look at the window sticker. So 2025 BMW X3 M50. So this is M50 and they, they made a mistake there. It's not M50i. So base price is 64100 So you're doing gray, our leather. M Sport Professional Premium and M Sport Package Pro. And front here, rear heated seats, our ventilated seats, dual zone climate control, and a few accessories. So this one stickers at 72,705. You can see our fuel economy. So it's 27 combined. So 25 city, 30 highway. So really great fuel economy. You can see our final assemblies in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Okay, take a look at the back seat. Here's our back seat, here's our door panel. We have the armrest with a cup holders there in the middle. Hop in. The seats, the seats are kind of way back from when I was looking at the front of the vehicle, but our travel and comfort system, so you can plug in various uh, BMW accessories in there, like an iPad mount, coat hook, things like that. And we have our rear climate controls, with our heated seats, temperature, as well as fan speed, and our vent controls there. There's a view of the front. Uh, driver and passenger area. And we can take a look at the cargo area. Oh, a nice amount of space. Maybe a little bigger than the previous generation. A 12 volt as well as a hook for, say, like groceries, things like that. Of course, it does the seats do fold, and you can take this uh, privacy shade out. It just goes like that. Someone can look in the back window and uh, see if 
it's anything in the back of the vehicle. This one was just ordered with the rubber mats and the cargo liner. So under here, this one was ordered with a space saver spare. So you can option to get a mobility kit. So I'll give you a little more space under there. And then we'll just have a, it's really like a fix a flat kit uh, in the car, but then you get the additional space underneath the cargo floor. So it's a trade off there. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a look under the hood. So the 2025 X3 M50 still has a three liter straight six turbocharged engine known as a B58. So this is the TU2 version. So it's the third iteration of the B58. So on the X3 M50, it makes 393 horsepower. And then when the mild hybrid system is engaged, up to 428 foot-pounds of torque. So a great amount of power and torque for a vehicle of this size. So being able to be quotes 4.4 to 60, I'm sure that you can be closer to about four flat. Uh, zero to 60. Of course, this does have that 48 volt mild hybrid system. So there's a not only a 12 volt battery, it also has a 48 volt battery uh, on board in the vehicle as well. So there's actually an electric motor uh, mounted within the transmission. So that actually aids the vehicle in power as well as efficiency. So it gives you that boost uh, up to that 428 foot pounds of torque. And it also is part of the auto start stop system that the vehicle has. So it's much smoother than say using the normal starter motor uh, that some of the older BMWs would have. So really a nice uh, setup here. And of course it's coupled to the BMW X-Drive all-wheel drive system as well. And we'll go ahead and close the hood. So if you have any further questions on the X3, feel free to leave a comment down below. See you in the next one.